Welcome to video number five on the Amazon suspension series. We are learning all about the emails which the sellers receive about suspension, various different headers, various different uh, kind of you know types and subtypes of suspension. So today in this video number five, we are going to discuss suspension due to listing of a restricted product. So what is the kind of mail you receive? What is the kind of action you should take? How to prevent this kind of a suspension so today in this video you will learn all about if you have listed something which is restricted as per the amazon policy you will receive a suspension notice or a listing deactivation notice so let us understand this violation in detail today so let me start sharing my screen so now i've started sharing my screen on my screen, you can see a page open. This is from Seller Central dashboard. You go to your Seller Central account, type restricted products, you will reach to this particular page. Uh, this is uh, for Amazon India. Same applies for all the Amazon marketplaces. So wherever marketplaces you are in for Amazon, just type this restricted products, you will get the complete page like this. Now, first of all, I would like to open the particular mail which the seller has received from Amazon. So this is a mail which was received by the seller. It says, thank you for speaking with us about your selling account because this was the mail which was followed after getting a call from Amazon. As we discussed, you have listed items that are not permitted for sale on Amazon. So it will like it will come like this items which are not permitted for sale on Amazon and you have listed that they will give you the ASIN number, the title of the product, and what next what next is a complete plan of action within the next 72 hours right now in this mail it's asking for 72 hours so as per the condition as per the uh, this thing you know mail condition you have to send that PO to avoid suspension in case you will not be able to send in 72 hours account will get suspended and then you can send it in 17 days from your suspension date now what they're asking for is a detailed explanation of the root cause of the violation they're asking that what was the problem why did you violate a policy why did you not check that why you have not checked that this particular product you cannot list as per the restricted policy framework or the guidelines at amazon secondly they're asking confirmation that you have closed or deleted all the restricted product listing from inventory so yes you need to take action you need to immediately delete this so you need to confirm that the proactive steps you have taken to prevent any similar violations in the future fine so this is the broader heads amazon has given in but you have to make a complete uh, PO for that matter you have to do a complete rc that's root cause, root cause analysis followed by the immediate steps that is you have deleted that's what they're asking for any other action like your supplier action or anything you mentioned that also and something of this nature will not be repeated in future so amazon wants to understand that also from you so the main three sections of the poa you have to prepare as per the merits of the case and you're good to go now to understand more about restricted products you, you have where you can check in everything we have to go to go to the seller central dashboard it's here this is the whole link restricted products so as a seller you acknowledge and agree to comply with all the applicable laws and regulations with the regulations and with amazon policies now uh, Consequence of violation, you already aware that you will receive a suspension notice and everything. These are the various restricted products which you cannot list on your respective marketplace. Now, I've opened the India screen, so these are for India. You'll open in US, you will get the US list. You'll open in UK, you'll get UK list. You'll open in Japan, you'll get Japan list. Uh, let's see what, what all is there, like entertainment, books, clothing. You go to clothing, press clothing. They will tell you what exactly is not allowed. So what they're not allowed, used clothing and shoes are not allowed. Yes, you cannot put used clothing and shoes, right? So this is the kind of notification happens. In my case, right now, we are just going through the lockdown period. So it is asking to run the ad campaign, which anyways, we're not going to do right now. We'll go back and see some other uh, categories also. 
like in electronics category if you click on electronics category what you see the products which are intended to affect any kind of traffic signals you will not able to sell on amazon products where serial number has been removed or altered you cannot sell it power amplifier used with cb radio you cannot sell them products designed to intentionally block jam or interfere with licensed or authorized radio communication like cell jammer gps jammers laser jammers you can read it in detail they have described it dvd duplicators that bypass the copyright protection blu ray players that have been modified to design original coding uh, cell phone unlocking devices cell phone with bad electronic serial numbers cell phone with international mobile equipment identifiers cell phones with invalid imeis number micro sim cards modified from standard sim cards so these are the straight away products which you cannot sell through amazon so they are very very clear on this thing you have on the right also you can see the same listings are here weapons so this is where the violation was happened the seller listed a product now that was a medicine that was an ayurvedic medicine assuming that it's okay ayurvedic medicine are safe for health and everything but a detailed investigation when this case came to me even when i looked at the first glance about it it's, it's ayurveda and the company is very much famous not only in india it's an international famous company various ayurvedic products are there in its brand many of the health marketplaces are selling that particular product but why specifically amazon has a problem with that when i read more about it you know there are several more meals uh, available here it has given exact you know it has got zinc also it has got magnesium you know some some composition was given in that led me to investigate it further from the fssai fda us and so many websites and all that stuff and finally i got access to a google thread wherein about this product was mentioned so much that this product can really harm women's and this and that so many violations were there and finally we nailed we reached to a point where we satisfied ourselves that yes this product is restricted otherwise when, at the first glance it was like we have to educate customer that this is not a restricted product this is an ayurvedic product only but when the case came to me the poa has to made an everything first that investigation happened in so it took me a complete day to do these r and d's and analysis so that is why i always say let me just stop sharing the screen that is why i always say and emphasize that don't pick up any google template plan of action means your total account is dependent on that particular draft which you are going to send normally you get two appeals amazon you know is very active on the first two appeals if you are not able to successfully prove yourself in the first two appeals it will take your case on a passive mode it will keep your case in a passive mode it will respond to you but now at a at a slower pace than it used to respond in the first two mails because they consider that in case you are not able to respond on the first two mails that means you don't you are not even aware of what what to what to be shared with us as a plan of action document or you have not taken any corrective action so first two appeals are very important you can just get your account back if you send it the right way take help from somebody who has a knowledge of this particular uh, violation don't pick up any template available in google the knowledge is there also in seller university they they give an idea that okay these three heads up it should be there but again the content has to be written so it's a draft it's a persuasive draft you need to persuade amazon that you are right seller to remain on their platform so you need to persuade them with your draft so today we have discussed all about the restricted products a violation your account your list may go off how to make a plan of action just hit the link above there's a complete video tutorial on how to make a plan of action by yourself in case you find value in the whole series this particular video watching please like share and subscribe this channel it will help me to create more videos for you 
in case you need me to help you generate a persuasive plan of action the description the, the details are there in the description box you need to connect with me on the facebook messenger type the keyword poa you will get the entire details how to proceed and how i'll be connecting with you we'll make a plan of action and i'll try to take you to the account back as fast as possible so i'll meet you in the next video another kind of a violation notice from amazon and how to handle this thank you very much for being here for watching this video thank you bye bye god bless